Hey there everybody. Uh, the purpose of this video is to get you some solutions to this, uh, this, this little homework set we had from last time. Um, I'm going to use that, that ABC um, procedure that we developed together um, to solve these because it's much, much easier to, to isolate what you're looking for with that. Um, again, as we talked about in class, if you have your own way that makes more sense to you, you can use it, but this seemed to make the most sense to the most people. So the first one you got 12 sevenths is something 40ths. All right. So using our using our our ABC ABCs, we discovered that that was 12 times 40 sevenths. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the fractions out now um, and talk about units when they're appropriate, and then. Uh, we'll run with technology and actually get the values for all these things when we're done. Because right now, just seeing the the, uh, the, the setup, I think, is the important part. Uh, 62 miles an hour. Is how many miles in three tenths of an hour? Okay, again, ABC. So you end up with. 62 miles times 3 tenths of an hour over 1 hour, which is actually nice that it's 1 hour. Um, now look at the units on this one. It might look a little bit hellacious because the one up top didn't have units at all, and this one's got a, what appear to be 2 units. But remember, per our discussion, per our discussion, the hours being a common factor uh, are a non-issue. Uh, it's a non-issue. It's like well, I think we talked about inches and feet and miles, but hours are no different than those those same units. So we can get that number in a second. And last but not least, a kilogram is the same as approximately 2.2 pounds. If I'm 180 pounds, which I am, how many kilograms am I? Okay. So you got your ABC. Easy. One, two, three. I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. Apologies. Uh, one kilogram times 180 pounds over 2.2 pounds. And again, same. Same. Doesn't matter if it's feet, pounds, inches, units, dollars. It doesn't matter. As long as it's the same unit, it is simply you, you result in a ratio and not a rate. All right, let's get some numbers for these. So we have the we have the answers that I'm sure you you want. So we've got, let me see, 12 times 40 over 7. That, I get about 68.6. Okay, no unit. That was, just a, that was just a numerical example. It was just no unit whatsoever. Uh, the next one up is 62 miles, but 3 tenths of that. And that's going to be 18.6 miles. Don't forget the miles. Hopefully that makes sense. And the last one, we're just going to have to do 180 divided by 2.2. And that gives us about 81.8 kilograms. There you go. There's your three results from that one. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm out of board space, unfortunately, and I kind of don't want to. You now let me look. Yeah, I don't want to erase this. Well, I guess you know what? It's YouTube. You can just rewind. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase it with the last couple. All right. So now these the last two, you had to set up your own proportions to kind of go. And you, you all have no, pretty much no problem with these, but um, if there are 454 grams in a pound, I googled that to check. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not European, I don't understand grams. 454 grams in one pound, how many grams in 22 pounds? So there are 454 grams in one pound. How many grams are there in 22 pounds? Okay, and again, we can, we can get the get the solution first using our ABCs. There 
And again, the beautiful thing about the units, and you're left with 454 times 22. And I get a lot, almost 10,000 grams. There you go. There you go. All right. And last but not least, there are uh, 33 thousandths fluid ounces. That is a weird. That's weird in one cubic centimeter. Okay, how many cubic centimeters are there in one fluid ounce? All right. Actually, let's do this. So this one might have thrown you for a loop if you set it up like this. But, you know, not, not to worry. All you've got to do is remember where our ABC tool came from. Where our ABC tool came from. Where it came from was looking at how the proportion was set together. Pounds go to pounds, grams go to grams up here. Fluid ounces go to fluid ounces, cubic centimeters go to cubic centimeters. So the A was always opposite what we were looking for, which means the A is now this one down here. This one over here is the C, and that one there is the B. Now, I do it this way. We also did it in class a different way by inverting both fractions. And if you actually invert both fractions, uh, like Ambrose taught us to do, you'll see the exact same thing. So you have the same relationship regardless of how you do it. All right. So uh, we are going to do A, which is one cubic centimeter, times C, which is one fluid ounce, over B, which is 33 thousandths of a fluid ounce. And then the beautiful thing, of course, that we always want to happen is that, because that means we are left with the unit we want. So it ends up being a kind of a simple math problem, just an interesting unit problem, which is one of the whole points of this class, is to make sure we're comfortable with this. And that is about 30 cubic centimeters. About 30 cubic centimeters. Um, yeah, so there you go. There you go. It's just more application of proportions. Um, in retrospect, like I told you in class, I wish we had done that weeks ago. Um, but, you know, better late than never. We've got it now, and I think we've got a pretty solid understanding of it. So, okie doke. We'll see you in class.